Hi, I'm Tracy Bates, curator with the U.S. Department of the Interior Museum in Washington, D.C. I'm coming to you from our exhibition, Thomas Moran and the Big Picture, and this is part of our series, Big Picture Morans. In conjunction with our exhibition, we've been collaborating with our colleagues at Yellowstone National Park on a fun and educational social media initiative. With Big Picture Morans, we're virtually accompanying Thomas Moran into the Yellowstone region 150 years ago to the day and retracing his steps as a guest artist on the summer 1871 Hayden Survey Expedition. Throughout the summer, we're sharing entries from Moran's diary, repeat photography of various landmarks, and other primary archival sources to recreate his journey and chronicle how it shaped his career and the course of history. The overall Big Picture Moran's social media campaign ultimately extends into the year 2022 with 150th anniversaries of the founding of Yellowstone National Park and the debut of Moran's iconic painting, The Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Keep following along with the hashtag Big Picture Morans on Facebook and Twitter with Interior Museum. Learn more about our Thomas Moran and the Big Picture exhibition on the web at doi.gov forward slash Interior Museum and learn more about Yellowstone National Park at nps.gov forward slash Y-E-L-L. Hi, I'm Alicia Murphy, the park historian at Yellowstone National Park. I'm standing here in front of the Mammoth Hot Springs uh, here in Mammoth uh, in the northern part of Yellowstone National Park. Uh, it was here that 150 years ago today, uh, William Henry Jackson took a photograph of artist Thomas Moran leaning against the Liberty Cap here behind me. Uh, this would have been on the first day of their grand adventure through Yellowstone. Uh, they uh, had joined the Hayden expedition as the uh, group was here to document the wonders that Native Americans and European Americans had been telling tales of for decades. Uh, they were here to verify those tales of spouting waters and steaming mountains and deep canyons. Uh, and Moran's uh, photographs and paintings were the first documentation that the public and Congress could really understand. So their visual representation of this place was instrumental in getting Congress to set aside Yellowstone as our country's first national park. So we look forward to you joining us on our journey as we follow the expedition along uh, through their adventure through this very remote uh, part of the Western United States. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the trail. Thank you.